Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well. So on uh, on this week's um, episode, an electric car, a brand new electric car, that costs less than a quarter of a Tesla Model 3. Coming under at under ten thousand under ten thousand dollars, not even pounds, ten thousand dollars. So um this one is coming from, I'm reading from my notes because there's quite a, a few bits and pieces to, uh, to, to get through, but this is uh, the Maple 30X Electric. Uh, I've never heard of Maples before, uh, maybe my naivety. It's a, uh, a combination of uh, Geely, Holding Corp and uh, Kandai. Uh, apparently, um, those that don't know, and I didn't, Geely owned 78% of car manufacturer Maple. They also own Volvo and they also own the London Black Taxi um, cab. And obviously, uh, those that know that Black Taxis have recently gone electric, um, so they've got a little bit of uh, an interest in there. They also um, hold big shares in uh, Daimler as well. So it's a, it's not a small a small company or a small investment company. Um, this is going to be an all electric crossover, um, and not to sixteen twelve seconds. So it's not particularly a, a quick car. But for ten thousand pounds, what else do you get? So you get a hundred and ninety mile range. Unfortunately, now this uh, is the kicker. It's only going to be available currently in China. Um, whether that changes or not, I'd be interested to see with uh, them bringing more uh, cars out. But you know, if you look down this list of, of, of things, actually, for a um, for a crossover SUV, electric. With almost a 200 mile range, and probably real world, it's more likely say 120, 130, um, under 10,000. And it's not the most spectacular looking car, let's face it, but it's it, it's not horrible. It's not it's not um, it's not bad. And for 10,000 pounds, that's uh, sorry, that's 10,000 pounds. I should say with all the subsidies and things like that taken into account. But for ten thousand pounds, you can get a two hundred mile or one hundred and fifty odd mile range car um, that seems reasonably big SUV um, crossover, and um, by uh, by all accounts, a company that whilst you wouldn't necessarily know them as like a badge, um, if you knew the holdings behind them and what they've got investments in, actually they've got quite a, a quite a heritage in. In some of the cars and obviously Daimler and um, the black um, London black cab uh, company you know they're, they're like I said they're starting to move into electric so you know it's it seems a natural progression it's a downside at the moment that it's only going to be available in, in China and obviously that clearly means that they're going to produce a, a mass of these to get to that price um, but it's interesting to see that you know are we now starting to see truly affordable electric cars you know it gets to the point where for a ten to fifteen thousand dollar car you can actually get a reasonable distance reasonable range electric car um you know i suppose for me this is probably more like the daihatsu type uh ranges of cars and um, what kia probably was when it first came out you had a, a, a large long warranty um, but they were cheap cars, so you know this looks like it may go uh, a same sort of, I suppose, same way. Um, so it's, it's really interesting to me that this is the first one really that I've seen that says actually that's that's gonna that's truly affordable. That's a truly affordable car, even if that comes out at ten thousand pounds in the UK rather than ten thousand dollars, which is likely it would. That's an insane price for a car um, and a new car. You know, obviously you can get um, you can get cheap electric cars, although even a old Nissan Leaf will still cost you upwards of eleven, twelve thousand pounds. But for a new car with that range, that's going to be reasonable. It's not going to be it's not going to set the world on fire, but it's going to be a reasonable car. It's quite exciting in the fact that it's going to allow more people to get into electric cars. It will uh, push the market forward, and um, yeah, I mean, like it or not, you know. China's got the manufacturing that can do this at that price. So if they can get those and then get those ships into the UK, even if they add a few more thousand to that, it's still going to be under most electric car um, 
uh, costs and I can see them just kind of flooding the market with all these electric cars and people um, getting them. I mean, the amount of Chinese cars that are out there or cars that you think are British America and everything else that actually got so much Chinese parts or manufacturing in them already, you wouldn't even know. Um, so yeah, another another announcement. So these things seem to be coming, even with the lockdown at the moment, as of twenty uh, seventh of April, twenty twenty. Um, you know, there's still some, hopefully, some encouraging electric car news coming through, and I will continue to try and cover as much as I can. It, at the time of this, it's not very easy to um, do stuff, obviously, outside and, and things like that, as everyone is aware. Hopefully, as things are lifted and we get back to some sort of normality, we can get back to some of the other stuff that I do as well. So I'll continue to try and do some electric car news or things that I've found. Um, I've got the uh, electric skateboarding stuff for the people that want to watch that as well. And I'm trying to sort out more kind of uh, dual setups for live streams. So I will be likely doing more live streams over the coming weeks uh, or every, every Wednesday that I tried to do before. Um, but I'm trying to sort out the one where I can get somebody else in as well to talk to. It just makes it a bit more interesting for me and, and for you guys out there. Um, um, I'm still having some technical kind of issues around that, so I just need to do some more testing before that comes back out. Um, but expect to see some at least some live streams over the coming weeks. Um, expect some more um, videos. I will try and do as much content as I can. Um, I'm working from home, so that takes up a lot of time uh, anyway and looking after my little one and all the other craziness that is going on in the world at the moment right now so hope you all keep very well and you're keeping safe um i um will tr endeavor to try and do as much content as i can um and hopefully you guys enjoy it and until next time thanks very much see you soon bye bye